in this question we are given that the two vectors uh, a vector plus 3b vector and 4a vector minus b vector these two vectors are perpendicular to each other and this means uh, the dot product of these two vectors is zero according to the dot product rule because if we see that uh, uh, vector a vector and there is another vector b vector if these two vectors are perpendicular to each other then their dot product is zero that is uh, a vector dot b vector equals uh, zero and so here this is uh, one vector and this is another vector therefore the dot product of these two vectors equals zero so therefore we write the first vector that is uh, a vector plus uh, 3b vector and then dot with the second vector which is uh, 4a vector minus uh, b vector and this equals uh, zero so we are now going to use the distributive property of dot product that is first we consider this a vector and then this we dot with the second vector that is a 4a vector minus a b vector we now consider this uh, other vector that is a 3b vector we dot this with the second vector which is a 4a vector minus a b vector and this equals a zero now we use the dot product uh, distributive law so we can distribute this uh, a vector dot with the uh, two vectors inside the bracket so here we get uh, a vector dot uh, 4a vector minus a vector dot b vector now let's do the distributive property here that is uh, we take this uh, 3b vector dot with uh, 4a vector and then we have minus 3b vector dot with uh, b vector and this equals uh, 0 so let's simplify this uh, this one is a scalar 4 so we can just take it out of the dot and so this can be written as 4 times of uh, a vector dot a vector minus uh, I write this as uh, a vector dot b vector plus uh, here we have uh, the scalars 3 and 4 so when we multiply these two we can write this as 12 times of uh, the dot product uh, b vector dot a vector minus uh, here we have the scalar 3 and then we have the dot product b vector dot b vector this equals uh, 0 we are going to use uh, some properties of the dot product that is uh, if we have a vector a vector and if we dot that a vector with itself it is equivalent to the magnitude of a vector quantity squared so therefore uh, i'm going to apply this property for the first term four times of this one a vector dot a vector equals magnitude of uh, a vector quantity square minus uh, i write this as uh, a vector dot b vector plus uh, here i'm going to use the commutative property of dot product that is uh, dot product is commutative in the sense that a dot b equals uh, b dot a otherwise we say that uh, b dot a equals uh, a dot b so replace b dot a here by a dot b so this is uh, 12 times of uh, a vector dot b vector minus uh, 3 times here i'm using this uh, property of dot product that is a dot product of a vector with itself equals uh, uh, magnitude of that vector quantity square so this one is uh, magnitude of vector b quantity square and this equals uh, zero let's simplify this further uh, we are also given that uh, magnitude of a vector equals uh, two times of magnitude of b vector so therefore we can square this both sides that is magnitude of a vector square equals uh, two times of uh, magnitude of uh, b vector quantity square and so this equals uh, two square is four and uh, magnitude of uh, b vector quantity square so we are going to replace magnitude of a vector square equals four times of uh, magnitude of b square let's replace it over here and so this gives uh, 4 times of replace uh, magnitude of a vector quantity square as 4 times of 
magnitude of uh, b one t square plus minus uh, we see that uh, here we have 12 times of a dot b minus uh, 1 times of a dot b so when we do the subtraction we get uh, plus 11 times of uh, a dot b minus 3 times of uh, magnitude of uh, b vector quantity square and this equals uh, 0. Now we see that uh, this one is uh, 4 times 4 is uh, 16 magnitude of b vector quantity square. So I'm going to change this to 16 times of magnitude of b vector quantity square. And this term and this term are like terms. That is here we have 16 times of magnitude b vector square. And this is negative 3 magnitude of b vector square. So 16 minus 3 is uh, it is basically 13 times of magnitude of p vector squared plus 11 times of a dot b. This equals 0. Now we can solve for a dot b from this equation. So I have 11 times of a vector dot b vector on the left side. This equals we subtract this from both sides. That is negative 13 times of magnitude of b vector quantity square so divide both sides by 12 sorry by 11 we get uh, a dot b equals uh, negative 13 magnitude of b vector quantity square divided by 11 so let's uh, have this expression now we want to find the angle between a vector and b vector so according to the dot product we can write down the theta which is the angle between a vector and b vector this is given by the cosine inverse of a dot b divided by magnitude of a vector times the magnitude of b vector. So this is the formula that we utilize to determine the angle between a vector and b vector. So we can now replace uh, this expression a dot b as this one and simplify and determine the theta. Therefore, we have cosine inverse of a dot b replace that by negative 13 times of magnitude of b vector quantity square divided by 11 and we also have magnitude of a which we can replace it as uh, 2 times of magnitude of b so replace this as uh, 2 times of magnitude of b and we have this another magnitude of b vector I simplify this so this equals uh, cosine inverse of you now see this uh, we have magnitude of b vector quantity square in the numerator and the product of magnitude of b vector times the magnitude of b vector is uh, magnitude of b vector quantity square so these two will get cancelled leaving as uh, only negative 13 so we have uh, negative 13 divided by we have 11 times of 2 is uh, 22. So this one is actually cosine inverse of negative 13 divided by 22. This one is theta. Uh, we can evaluate this expression by plugging into the calculator. And so when we do that, uh, we get uh, 126 degrees. This is rounded to the nearest degree. So this is the angle between the two vectors, A vector and B vector.